I... <clears throat> What's up guys? And today I've got a tutorial for you guys. And it's my original design. And I call it the Godzilla bracelet because it looks like Godzilla's back. Which I think is really cool because he has those spikes in in the movie, the newer one, when he blows fire, he, his spikes all turn blue, so I had some blue in the spikes. But you can make it the spikes one single color if you want. You can have as many colors as you want, but I should suggest having at least two or three. Um, you'll need a C-clip also. And you'll probably need an extension, unless you're using another loom to make it longer. You'll need a loom, of course, or two looms, like if you have two illuminators from the mega kit, or you just have two. Look, I'm using the metal tip hook because I've gotten used to it a lot more than my two plastic hooks that I have, so I don't use those very often. And bands. Today, I'm using white and this metallic color that I got from Michaels. Okay, now let's get started. Okay, so I had to refilm this part because um when you loop this, you have to actually put this line of rows under so your spikes that you've made or that I'll show you to make and put them on in a row like this. If you don't want spikes, use normal bands. But uh doesn't really matter. So when making your spikes, you want your hook and you want to cap this on your hook three times so you see three loops. Well technically two. And then you want to double this so it looks like two bands, but really it's only one doubled. And take this, put it on your hook. So it's kind of like making arms for people or something like that. So you just keep repeating that, not with the cap, but you know, obviously. And then you want to pull one single band through for your last band. And put it on upside down actually so the cap band is pointing at the bottom. So then you just repeat, I'll show you again. Cap that on three times. I'm only gonna make this three. And take this, whoa. And take this so it looks like two and put it on. So I'm going to show you how to chain this on one more time because I want to make this three one. Make it look like it's two bands but really it's one. Take it through and you're done. And if the cap band does something like this when one's point or like the other, just stretch the other two out and it should make it even. And for your final band, the band that places it on the loom, just one single band, nothing done to it, and pull it through. And the spike points to the bottom. And rewind or... Rewind if you need to see that step again. And once you're done, press play or pause and then press play and get all your spikes done. Now it's time to do the half star posts. Okay, now that you got all your spikes going up, or you can just use normal bands, you want to you get your color for the half star posts. And this one, it's green. First, you want to make one here, put one going up, 
them. One going down. Whoa. Jeez. <laughs> and now <clears throat> we want to make our half starburst, which is just counterclockwise. Like this. You want to put one. One going here and there, like this. Like this. So it almost kind of makes a diamond. Diamond there, and then you want to go up. You can see this you go up down up, up and then you want to add cap in so you want to see two loops put it on two loops put it on. So I'll show you another time well it doesn't really matter which side you do first you just make sure you do it First, or it doesn't really matter which side you do first, but I do recommend doing the same side first every time, like me. And then you want to put it on right, like that. Oh, and the kind I'm using is this metallic color that I got from Michaels. So up one, down, up, going cross and then just straight up and then put on your cat band so you can rewind and do it all the way up here so keep doing this rewind or pause but you want to get all your half star bursts okay so you may have noticed that I stopped here um I, wanna sh I just wanted to show you guys what to do here so you might have gotten it, but you might have not, so I just wanted to show you guys what to do. Um, okay, so, make sure you're in camera view. No, um, maybe so. Okay, so, when you get here, you want to put up one band. Make one going down, and then put a cap right here. So, and you want to do it the same on the other side. Just make one going up, one going down. And make a cap band so it looks like this cap band all right now um that i got that out of the way um it's time to do the hooking process oh and don't forget at the end to put your cap band. two time cap band. so it's like making a cap band for your starburst but on the bottom right here so I'll put my cap band on and I'll be right back when you get your c-clip on I don't know if you like to do this but I like to pull it over here so it makes the hooking kind of easier um just because you can see them better like that but okay so you want to grab the first top band oh wait the first top band if I can figure out which one's the top band Okay, anyway, first top band in this one. But actually, you don't want to do that. Like a normal bracelet, like you normally would. So, you want to take one of them, these ones, and go there. Like that. So you actually want to hook your starburst first. I don't know if you do that on the normal starburst bracelet, but you do in this bracelet. 
Okay, so just to loop all your starbursts. Remember to loop from the cap band. So go in the cap and grab your first top one. Your second. And just, you know, loop the starburst like a normal starburst you would. So, go in, grab it, and same over here, whoa, okay, I cannot do that, there we go, <clears throat> so you just want to do, you know, like, loop like you would for a normal starburst, so let me try it. In. Okay. And do like so. And just loop it how you would normal servers, like I keep saying. So I'll show you how one more time. And you want to grab the top one. Loop it to where it goes, where it forms a teardrop shape, actually. And loop the next, or the top one. No, oh, I dropped it. And put it to where it forms a teardrop shape. And, oh, did I forget? Turn your loom around, of course, where your cap and band is. And, yeah, just grab your last one and put it where it makes a teardrop. So that's how you do it. And just repeat all the way up to here and stop when you get to here. Okay. <clears throat> so now, you want to grab the top one and do this. It doesn't really matter. Like, just grab all the bands place them where you want to be and then the middle ones are the hardest because you have to go all the way down and grab it so you just want to go all the way down and grab your white band so it's pretty easy and just loop it like a normal or looper hook or whatever um like a normal bracelet like so oops until you get up here and now you want to loop the base like you normally would So you just need to go all the way down and grab your white band and I'll be back when you're done with the border. Now that the border's finished, it's the final step. Turn around your loom and get the color band you want for your extension. I'm using white. Okay. Now you want to take your hook and go all like that. So you have all the bands on your hook. And you want to take this band like you're making a slip knot on a charm. And then put it on like this. And now we take it off. Carefully so you don't break any bands. Or you know. You kind of want to pull up the spikes, fluff them out a bit. And then you have your Godzilla bracelet. I'll show you how to make an extension now. Okay, so sorry about that. Um, I want to show you how to do the extension over here. Okay, so when you have a bracelet, I just seek up this on. So it didn't mess it up. You just want to. Oh, you'll probably have this on and take the C-clip off 
and you just want to hook this on and put it through. Or this is how I do mine with my hook because I just think it's easier. Because at first I never knew how to do my extensions. Sorry, I need to get more uh, white pins. So at first I never knew how to do my extensions to my bracelet. But then I just thought you would do it on the hook. Which I think is easier. Sorry about that. It's my brother's. And you just want to do that until the bracelet fits you. So. Oh, and then just sequin. So it's pretty easy. And... fell on the ground and this is what it looks like and it's almost done but I think I'll need to put two or one more on so there we go And now we just put on that C clip and C clip it on to this. And now we have a bracelet. So thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. Um, subscribe, like, comment, or just watch this video. Um, I just wanted, I just have a question for you guys. I didn't know if you wanted me to do this tutorial. It's my own original design. But you do need two looms for it. So I'm not sure how many people have two looms. Which is why I was asking you, should I do this tutorial and do you want to see this? Because this is a really cool bracelet. It's my original design. But you need two looms. Or two illuminators. Whatever works. Because you don't really need it in a different position than two looms together. So you just need two looms for that. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.